A 46-year-old patient comes to his doctor's office and complains of chest pain and headache. His computed tomography scan reveals a tumor located just superior to the root of the right lung. Blood flow in which of the following veins is most likely blocked by this tumor. So here we have, there is a tumor at the root of the right lung and this tumor is blocking a blood flow from the vein that is related to the root of the right lung, just superior to the root of the right lung. Let's look at the options. Actually, the hemiazygous vein crosses the midline. It drains the lower intercostal spaces, lower uh, four posterior intercostal veins. These will unite together and form the hemiazygous vein that crosses the midline and it drains into the azygous vein. This would be the location of the azygous vein behind the root of the lung. And uh, the azygous vein drains the posterior intercostal veins on the right side. The posterior intercostal veins on the left side are collected into the hemiazygous vein and another vein here which is called the accessory hemiazygous vein which drains the middle uh, posterior intercostal veins. So both the azygous vein and the hemiazygous vein they are they, uh, located on the left side and cross from the left side to the right side and join the azygous vein which is located on the right side but they join the azygous vein uh, below the root of the lung. So this option is wrong, the hemiazygous vein is wrong. It is not related superior to the root of the right lung. So as the accessory hemiazygous vein, option E. Let's look at option B, arch of the azygous vein. Yes, this is the correct option. You can see here, this is the arch of the azygous vein. Uh, in this uh, section, it has been cut. This is a coronal section. And uh, because the arch extends from behind forwards, above the root of the right lung. So you can see that it looks like a circle in this uh, section because it crosses from behind forwards and will drain into the superior vena cava. This is the position of the superior vena cava and it, 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 the arch of the azygous vein drains into the superior vena cava by arching above the root of the right lung. In fact, in an embalmed lung, it impresses a groove on the medial surface, on the, the mediastinal surface of the right lung, a groove for the arch of the azygous vein. So this is the correct option, that the azygous vein is most likely compressed here by a tumor superior to the root of the right lung. Right subclavian vein, right subclavian vein is located a little bit higher because here is the, if this is the inferior vena cava, then the inferior vena cava is formed by brachiocephalic veins right and left brachiocephalic vein. Each brachiocephalic vein is formed by an internal jugular and subclavian veins. So this is the position of the right subclavian vein. It's uh, much away from the root of the right lung. The same thing for option D, right brachiocephalic vein. Right brachiocephalic vein is away from the root of the right uh, lung. And the question, if you look at the question, it mentions that the vein which is most likely blocked by the tumor, in other words, the vein that is the first one to be blocked. Maybe other veins will be blocked, like tumors in the upper lobe of the right lung. They might compress. Later on, they might compress the superior vena cava. But to start with, a tumor that is located just above the root of the, of the lung, then the vein that is directly related to the upper part of the root of the right lung is the azygous vein, and this is the most likely to be involved by such a tumor.